you just stuff it with all sorts of fun ingredients, make little zucchini boats. And our good friend, Chef Ken Hall, is going to show us how. Good morning, Amy. Today what I want to do is I want to show you how to use your zucchini that we always end up with so much zucchini at the end of the season. This is just a different recipe that I've come up with that utilizes the best of the season with corn, with our tomatoes, and with our zucchini. And what we're doing is we're going to do a stuffed zucchini and we're going to do it with roasted tomatoes, feta cheese with a warm corn sauce. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started and usually I try and find your, your small to medium sized zucchinis and we're going to cut them in half just the way they are. And then we're going to, uh, I found a, a use for my, my pineapple core that works really, really good for taking the seeds out of your zucchini. And we're just, we want to leave a little bit of an edge on the side so that they don't collapse on us while we're doing it. So we're just going to clean these out real quick. You can use this mixture here in another recipe if you want. Always save it. Then what we've got, we're going to put those here. And then in the dish here, I've diced up a tomato with fresh garlic, a little basil, and a little olive oil. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to put it right onto the sheet pan here and we're going to throw this in the oven and we're going to roast it at the same time that we roast our zucchini. So we'll smooth this out. You can do a smaller tray if you want. And then we're just going to take this and we're going to throw this in the oven and we're going to roast this for about 10 minutes. And then when we take our tomatoes out, these are our nice roasted tomatoes here. We're going to take our roasted tomatoes and we're going to put them into a bowl and scrape off all that nice caramelized tomato. And we're going to take some feta cheese that we just crumbled up and we're going to mix in our feta cheese. And we're going to toss this together. You want to kind of leave it chunky. Now, if you want to add anything else to this, you're perfectly fine with doing that. And then we're going to take our tray, and this is what they look like when they come out of the oven. We take that mixture, we stuff them back on the inside, and this is what they come out looking like. So we'll put this on the tray. The next step to this recipe is we're going to have a corn sauce. And here in the pan on the stove, We've got one ear of corn that I took off of the cob with a quarter of an onion and a little bit of a butter and salt and pepper. And what we do is we mix this together. We add in a little bit of chicken broth to it and we cook it until it's tender and then we puree it. And the easiest way to puree it is right into your standard blender. I want to make sure we get all the juice in there. And then I've got a little bit of broth here on the back with a little bit of butter in there. And we're going to add just that little bit of liquid to it. And we're going to put the lid on. And I always leave the lid off on the back just a little bit to let the steam out. And you want to pulse it. So you want to turn it on and off quick, kind of get that steam out. And we're going to puree this down. Now in the recipe, you can strain this sauce if you want to, but you don't have to. And in this particular recipe, I used white corn instead of your yellow corn, so you're going to notice a little difference in the color of the sauce. And it doesn't take very long at all. And now we've got this nice puree, so we're going to mix our corn off over here onto the side. We're going to put our zucchini over the top and then I've got some fresh greens over here and then we're going to put a little mound of our fresh greens and if you wanted to you could put a couple of cobs of corn on there, a little kernels of corn on there and there you go I've got my stuffed zucchini with feta, roasted tomatoes and a white corn sauce.